<laughs> Uh-oh, I have a feeling I know what he wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> Not my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Rich. Better known as Yarn Boy 1 or Yarn Boy 2. Or... Yes, Yarn Boy 2 on Instagram if you're looking for Rich. I tried to hide, but it didn't work. Yeah, he tried to hide, but you can't escape. Hi, baby, and Jamie, our little beautiful dog. Uh, I think Tom is inside. Mm hmm. Wait, what is he doing in there? Tom loves to lie upstairs in my studio where we record during the winter and it is about a hundred degrees up there and I'm not exaggerating and he loves it he lays in the Sun up there oh. it's insane I don't know but that's where he is I think <laughs> yeah. he hasn't been outside too much we haven't been outside too much um because the weather hasn't been great really honestly no, it hasn't been that today it's beautiful and yesterday it's beautiful not a cloud in the sky so I, we missed recording last week because my laptop was in the shop for repairs it was at apple luckily it didn't happen during covid because then i would i would have had to wait six months to get it back but mm -hmm. no the apple store had it for over a week and yeah, I it's very it would I it's not impossible for me to edit without it. I could probably do it on my iPad, but I chose not to. So <laughs> we did not record last week, but it worked out good because we went away, right? Mm-hmm. Speaking of where where did we go? You tell to the people. Visit our daughter in Massachusetts. So our daughter lives in Massachusetts, and we wanted to do some things outside. But it was so hot. We, we wanted to visit the Minuteman National Park, which I was at during the winter, and it was really cool, but it was very muddy. However, this time it was so hot that we would not have enjoyed ourselves. No, we went to a, a cranberry bog. We, well, and, and we walked around for a while and I thought Jamie was going to die. We tried. Then, we tried to yeah. go to a cranberry bog. Jamie didn't do too well. <laughs> it's, it's too hot for dogs. I'm very cognizant that, especially with him with his black coat, if the sun is on him for too long, no. I, he's, I, don't, I don't take him outside on a hot day. I, I'm just very, I'm funny, I'm, I'm very aware of that. And um, when they're dragging their tongues, and I just don't take him for walks. No, no, no. I'll take him out to pee, and that's it. He doesn't drag his tongue. He keeps it curled up in his yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. So we were only at the one place for maybe 20 minutes, and he got very hot. So that was it. We, we left. Got you some water. But I spent, we spent a lot of time with our daughter, which was awesome. Um... I spent a lot of time with Jamie in the hotel. <laughs> yes. So, Rich was more comfortable in the hotel because there wasn't, there's not a lot of seating in her apartment, really. She just has one couch and some, big enough for two people, and that's it. So, so you went back and you spent a little time. You enjoyed that. You had some alone no, time. Well, and, there was nobody at the hotel, so it was pretty cool. Yeah, oh, I know. So, we went to a... So the hotels are still pretty empty because of COVID, but we went to a hotel conference center in her town and, it, and she had stayed there on a business trip at one point, she was telling me, and she said it was bustling, busy, busy, busy. Well, there was literally, well, it was a weekend, but there was really maybe 10 guests in the whole place and the place was huge. Oh my yeah. goodness, there's hundreds and hundreds of rooms. And it was awesome because it uh, had... Yeah, I was waiting for Jack Nicholson to knock on my door. Yeah, it was a little creepy because there weren't that many people around. But we had a great room. It's a do it was a doggy room. Yes. They keep it then right out. You can go right outside. There's a door that goes outside. And there's a little doggy walk there. Yep. So it was and really the nice. grounds for the hotel Beautiful. were huge. huge. Yeah, well, that must accommodate hundreds. Oh, hundreds, hundreds of cars. because there's tons of parking. Well, it's a conference center, so I'm sure there's conventions there and stuff. 
and we had it all to ourselves basically it was it was amazing I would stay there in a heartbeat it was clean 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 even though we were in the doggy room <laughs> yeah it was nice it was very clean and yeah it was a great time we had a really it nice it was a experience. very hot weekend it was hot so he mostly stayed in and stuffed He's, on me which you and, always thought and rich him. there was a lot of soccer game what's going on with soccer the Euro League <laughs> championships are on so I would soccer so I, I know nothing about sportsing I, it's not my thing but rich enjoys soccer and football so he stayed inside a couple afternoons and watched soccer in the hotel and our daughter doesn't have t have a cable for TV. None of the young kids do. They she just watches Netflix or whatever and YouTube. And so um, she has no sportsing on her TV either. So you enjoyed that. You mm -hmm. were able to see the the soccer game. And um, Em and I recorded a show on her gaming channel. If you're interested, I will link it down below. It is very nerdy. We don't show our faces, we just talk. But we had a good time doing that. So that was fun. And yeah, it was a great weekend. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't go out to a restaurant we were going to. But, <laughs> so when we got to her apartment, I was gonna cook the first night. So I brought everything to make spaghetti, which is super easy. And I forgot the spaghetti and she didn't have any in her pantry. <laughs> Who doesn't have spaghetti? <laughs> Okay, whatever. It's the only house I've ever been in with an It's fine. Spaghetti. It's fine. <laughs> so, you know how those young kids are. So anyway, so, so there was a market right down the street. So, I, so we left Jamie with her and we went to the market. Well. Didn't go over well. He. He really traumatized him. He cried. And he loves our daughter. She's one of his favorite people, but he was traumatized that we left him alone in her place. Oh my goodness. She was there too. Wasn't she it? was there and he just could not get over it. So the whole weekend, every time we went there, he was very nervous and he cried. <laughs> and he's usually not a nervous kind of guy. That's another reason I took him back to the hotel. He's yeah. He's comfortable he'd, there. Yeah. Now, M has a cat, a beautiful cat named Mona. And yeah, you saw the kitty. And Jamie gets along great with cats, and but we thought we weren't sure how she would like him. And they got along great, didn't they? Yeah. I'll pop in some pictures of. I have one of them. Well, most of the time, she just crouched and stared at him. Yeah. <laughs> but she, at least she didn't attack him. <laughs> I, the first time they met, when he was a puppy, and she was living here in town, we brought him over to her apartment and. She just did the whole cat thing where they make themselves really big and like a Halloween cat and she growled at him and she did not like him at all. But she's mellowed she's, a lot. Yeah, she's mellowed. He's she, mellowed. So. Yeah, they yeah. got along pretty good. They got along out surprisingly well. I never knew how if I liked Emily's cat or not because every time I went to her apartment he would hide under the bed. Yeah. So I didn't know. I thought this cat always goes to hide under the bed. But she was very nice. Yeah, and then we hung out and when we were... And she, She's, she loves treats. So. She's hilarious, her cat. She's very, very funny. She's very food motivated and food oriented because she she was adopted off the street. Basically, one of Emily's co-workers um, took her in and she was pregnant. She had kittens and Em took her after her kittens were grown. And so she's very food insecure and gained a lot of weight when she started living in the house and then Em had to put her on a diet so she she has a food dispenser <laughs> she's real she's normal weight now but man when that food dispenser goes yeah off, when you hear the food hit the bowl she, she flies just, across the room it's whole it's so funny and jamie freaks out because she's running and he wants to chase her it was very funny so we had a really good time it was a nice weekend um and yeah so that was it and i was hoping the Apple Store is on our way there and on our way home. And I thought, well, maybe my computer would be ready, but it wasn't. <laughs> so I, we were unable to pick it up on our way home. We had to go to the next So we day. had to go back the next day, and it was ready, I think, two days after we got back. And then we picked it up, and it's all fixed now, so I can edit the show. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. 
So anyway. Anyway, this is a knitting show. We this is a we knitting show. We haven't talked about your knitting. We have not. So the first thing I want to do is do a giveaway. Oh, I got new glasses. See. You did get new glasses. I know. There aren't the ones I initially got. The ones I initially got were rectangular and much bigger. And then because it was so big, I couldn't see anything out of them. I couldn't read my cell phone at all. Mm -hmm. So I went back and said, you got to do something. I can't, I don't want these. I can't read my cell phone. So they picked out these little frames, cut them right there. We waited 30 minutes and boom, I could see fine. We wear progressives. Yeah. So progressives can be tricky and... If you change the size of your glasses, yeah. I have drama. I have a lot of drama with my eyes right now. It's yeah. a long, long story and I won't get into it, but I have new glasses as well, but I am not wearing them much around the house because I lose all my middle vision with them because of the progressive. They, they have to be very strong because I have cataracts, which I'm going to have to have those taken care of within the next year because my glasses are just getting too strong and it's it's uncomfortable for me so anyway that's more than you want to know but um yeah i have a giveaway from last time and it's this two skeins of this beautiful um Rodine will wools from knit crate if you would like a subscription to knit crate mm. you can click on my affiliate link down below and I get a very small commission from that, and you will get 20% off. Oh, can't beat that. And the commission helps pay for shipping of the prizes. So the winner is, now if you're, also I just wanted to mention, I always forget to mention, if you are international, I'm not shipping prize in, prizes international at this time, so um, I will gift you a pattern on Ravelry. So the winner is Sharon Edmondson. Hmm. If you are in the United States, I will send this out to you this week. You can contact me, Sharon at knitstyleyarns.com. If you are international, just pick out a pattern on Ravelry and I will gift it to you. And I'll need your Ravelry username for that. Hmm. This week, I have an interesting yarn. This looks like a flax. So it's a sock yarn, Vitalana Tiptoe Sock in this beautiful, like light sage color. It's really, really pretty. Um, this is, oh, you're honestly nice and soft. this is 45% superwash merino, 40% linen, 15% nylon. Wow. So this is really interesting. I, you can see the linen, If I hold it up, you can see the linen hair sticking out. It's really cool. I would love to try this. It's such a blend. Very lovely. Well, and put your name as the winner. When you yeah, there we go. <laughs> and the colorway is linen spray. So, yeah, if you win this and knit up socks, let me know how it knits up. And there's patterns in here as well. So, in order to win this prize from Knit Crate, you can make a comment down below. You can comment about anything. Let me know if you've ever knit socks with a wool, linen, nylon blend. Very interesting. Tell me what your favorite sock yarn is. Mine is a 75-25 Superwash Merino, although I like the 80-20 as well. It's pretty nice. Okay. So, knitting. Have you done any knitting? No. I'm You've been busy. busy. You have been so busy. Oh, pool's going to open tomorrow. Yeah. So come on over, go for a swim. It's <laughs> going to be nice and hot. No, I can't go in it tomorrow. i got to put shock in. My knitting. I don't have much. <laughs> because, again, I, I'm going to tell you this every week. I'm doing a test knit, and I can't show it to you. So, but I have been working on socks. Yes, it looks like you finished them. And I have a finished pair. Oh, how nice. And they're gorgeous. Can we pose for a thumbnail with these? Oh my goodness. They are very nice. So this is Mustache Yarns in the Daily Eggs colorway. 
I knit them top down with a nice long cuff, probably about six and a half inches. And I put in a fish lips kiss heel right here. And then I knit a nice long foot because I have big feet. <laughs> I do. I have long skinny feet. Do I know for a little person got I big have big feet. I have huge feet for I'm only five three and I have very big feet. So yeah, these are beautiful. I love them. And I I love the fish lips kiss heel. It fits me great. Um, I have been on a sock kick wanting to finish off all my works in progress socks and I'm hopefully going to do that this year, most of them. Which brings us to the next pair. These are also knit top down, which is my preferred way of knitting socks. I mean, I do knit them toe up and I guess it doesn't really matter whether you knit toe up or top down with fish lips kiss. You could just put it in either one. But um, yeah, these are mustache yarns again. And I think this is the one-eyed crocodile colorway, which is a um, Grinch reference. And I love them. I am pretty much almost finished with the second sock. And I have the toe to put on the first sock. And I sh I'm hoping to be finished with these by the next time we record. I'm really enjoying them. I would have been finished with them because I wanted to bring them on vacation with me. And I forgot them. I am shocked that I remembered any knitting at all. Because I had my knitting ready to put in the car and I forgot to put the bag in the car. When was this? When we were going away. Remember I got distracted? Going away where? To, to M's. Oh. Remember? Oh, yeah, 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 because the motor vehicle sent you a threatening letter. <laughs> I got a threatening letter from, we were just leaving, we got the mail. I got a threatening letter from motor vehicle. It's a, we, with our new car, it's a long story. We sold the car, and they thought the new car wasn't insured for a month, which is wrong. They, the, yeah, they don't let you drive off the lot unless no, your car has insured. it was insured, but when we sold the car, the insurance company reported that we switched the insurance. Anyway, it's a long story. So I was freaking out w over this letter, and that's why I forgot the knitting. They threatened to suspend our they registration yeah, they were gonna and take our plates and yeah. fine you $300. And I'm like, uh, no, I'm not paying them $300 because I, I didn't do it. So I, on the way to our vacation, I got on the phone with, I figured the person to call first would be the insurance company. Smart idea. And I called them, and they were great. She knew exactly what had happened, and she fixed, they supposedly fixed it. They I need to check. call back. She said within 72 uh -oh, hours. State police could pull up and arrest you and take your plates? <laughs> I don't think so. But anyway, so, but they were great. They, she said that she sent it right over, and they were going to send it to motor vehicle. So. Oh, yeah, the other great thing about Massachusetts, I went to a liquor store. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to buy some bourbon. Evan Williams okay so I bought it and then I went back in there the next day because I wanted to see if they had a single can of beer so I could have one with lunch while I watch soccer and as I walk back for her, they have big 1.75 bottles of Keep Jack talking. Daniels I have something else to which is pretty expensive whiskey so anyway I looked at the sign is it on sale $39 $39 for a bottle that big. I, I paid 24 for a little tiny bottle up here in New York. So I went back and I bought it. Went back in and I bought it. And something I hadn't noticed before when I bought the other bottle of liquor is when I paid for it and gave my card, I looked at the receipt. The receipt was $39. And I said, well, the sale is $39. How come it's 30 It should be like, oh, 44 or 45 if you live in New York. They don't have any sales tax on liquor in Massachusetts, which, yes. So next time I go visit my daughter, I am going to bring a box with me. And guess what? You save a lot of money when you do it that way. I mean, a liquor is not expensive up there to start off with and no sales tax. <laughs> Forget it. A no-brainer. So that made my weekend. And I don't know where Sharon went. Maybe she went to take a shower. Where 
is she? Oh, here she comes. Oh, she has another bag. Okay. You done with your story, Ben? Yeah, a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> Didn't see anything. Okay, anyway. So while we were... So anyway, I did forget most of my knitting. And I wanted to work on socks, but I did bring the test knit, so that was good. I was able to knit on that. And I, and I, for some reason, I had this pair of socks in my stitching bag. And okay, so this is the advent calendar bag from last year. I love it. So if you buy the advent calendar set, you will get a bag. Included this bag or some other bag? A different bag. It's a different bag every year. Okay. And if you order the full skein to go with the set, I dye it to match the bag. So here's the yarn that I dyed to match the bag. Mm. What do you think? Looks very I think good. it's a pretty dead on match, to be honest. It's beautiful. And so I decided to knit um, slipper socks out of them or bed socks. So I held it together with a strand of mohair and I cast them on toe up and this is how they're coming out. They're pulling a little because of the gauge. That's fine, I like pulling. And they are going to be warm, but I am almost finished with this first sock. I knit pretty much all the way up this leg while we were away, so that was really good. And so, yeah, I'm excited about these. And honestly, I'm not going through a lot of yarn, so I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to get a pair of regular socks after I finish the bed socks out of this pattern if I hold it together, or if I use a contrasting heel, like a red. So that'd be fun. And that is it. That is all the knitting I have been doing. It's socks and the test knit, basically. Bluebirds are like crazy. We had a lot of bluebirds this year. Both nests will fall. Both yeah. nesting boxes. And right now there's someone in there and I, in between the two boxes I have a mealyworm feeder. And they love mealyworms. And I've seen cardinals Cardinals don't usually sit on anything, they like the ground feed. So what falls, the cardinals will go on my deck and eat, and the bluebirds attack them. They attack any bird they find near the feet, and that's how protective they are of the food. It's like amazing to watch them. So I will pop in some footage of that as he's talking about the bluebirds. We had a lot of baby bluebirds in our yard two hmm. weeks ago. There were so many little babies. Yeah fledglings and the mom they would sit on the feeder and the mom would feed them and they'd be still they could fly but they were waiting for their mom to feed them they were so cute yeah we they? have a lot of bluebirds this year i think they come back they remember this they i think back. they come back i think every the ones year. that are born here will be probably be coming back every year i would expect yeah but those houses are perfect unless it gets too hot because if it gets too hot They're then in the sun and it bakes a little bit yeah it's not so good boiled eggs yeah <laughs> Well, speaking of which, I never took my eggs off the stove. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh, but I was supposed to put them in cold water. All right. Well, you can do it after. <laughs> oh, no. Rich likes his hard-boiled eggs. I like to make egg salad. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about shop news for the week. Um, I have a new chat feature on my shop. Thank you so very much for those of you who have been chatting with me. The messages come through on my phone. If I'm busy or I don't get it right away, I will get back to you. If you leave a phone number, you'll get it. You'll get the message back and I can answer your questions uh, more readily. If you can also send me an email anytime, Sharon at knitstyleyarns.com. Okay, Advents. I still have Advents left, and I also have the 12 Days of Christmas smaller Advent set, and a few of the bag yarn sets left. They're going quickly, though, so if you want one, go to my shop, and you can get free shipping on Advents and everything else in the shop if you are a United States resident. Um, 
Just enter the code free ship at checkout. So, um, I didn't do a bag this week, but we still have some of the yarn bomb. We have one yarn bomb bag and yarn set left, and I'm going to show that to you right now. So, um, this bag and this yarn was super popular, and we sold out of it wow. very quickly. So Donna ordered more fabric because we kind of oversold by one. So she ordered more, and there's one left. So I don't have another bag this week, but if you're interested, we have one left of this yarn bag combo and you can purchase that in my shop or go to Donna's shop and I think she has it in her shop, the one. So if you want it, this yarn bombing. You wanna put that over there for me? Hmm, two little mini skeins. And here at Knit Style Yarns, it is Halloween in June. <laughs> I thought the stores were. <laughs> I'm start starting Halloween earlier and earlier every year because it is my favorite holiday to die for. So, that's actually a little bit of a pun. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Dying to die for Halloween. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Um, ha ha ha. Okay, so I have a variegated mini skein set this week. And I love it. It is based on a local to us spooky story. Do you have any idea what I am referring to? You probably wouldn't. I'll have to give you a hint. What did you say is... It's a story that is actually set in a town that is fairly local to us. Oh, yeah. Very I famous. Know that one what that is it? Is. What? It's the Headless Horseman. Yes. Down in so, Terrytown. So these colors are based on the Sleepy Hollow. Hollow, yes. Mm -hmm. So these are the Sleepy Hollow collection. And um, Terrytown, New York is probably about. An hour south of us. No, it's less than that. Not even an hour, maybe 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Um, my ex is from there. <laughs> oh, no wonder. Oh, he's he was a nightmare. Yeah. So short. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so uh, the story was written by Washington Irving. I'm who, gonna be honest yes, with whose you. Whose house is right on a hot set and you can go visit it. You know, we should visit that. That would be very interesting. Weren't we were there once with the kids when Halloween? No, I've never been to Washington Irving. You've never been there. No, but you might have gone on a field trip from school. Ah, uh, yeah. Because our school, I've been there. our school is very close to there Several where we used times, to work. Yeah, Rich has been there. I, I, I would love to go there. It's a beautiful place. It's beautiful. It's, it's a absolutely. short little guy. It's a short little. Bed. Was it well? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. People say weren't very. My feet off. People weren't very big back then. No. But anyway, he had running water too. Did he? Yeah, because he had his pipes coming down from a hill, so he had they, it was gravity fed running water. Very interesting place. Fascinating. Yeah. So we need we need to go. We totally need yeah, to just go. For, uh, just forget about trying to go there Halloween. Oh yeah. It doesn't work out. Yeah yeah no 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 no. Um, the cemetery across the street there it's filled with all the old graves. Oh from way yeah back yeah. In the colonial times. The Dutch and the Germans who settled here, yeah, crazy. Very interesting. So yeah, so the story was written by Washington Irving. I went I I have never read the story <laughs> because I don't like scary stories, although I do like Halloween. Um Disney made a movie about it. Um there were several movies. There were several I movies just saw made one. about it. The Johnny Depp one. The Johnny Sleepy Depp Hollow. one. That movie scared the crap out of me. I couldn't watch it. <laughs> there was no Ichabod Crane in that one. There wasn't? There was no school teacher, no. Okay, so there was a TV show. Yes. Called Sleepy Hollow, I believe. And Ichabod was a major character, and it was yeah. a time travel show. Couldn't get into it, though. It wasn't my thing. But I do, I do love the legend of the Headless Horseman. It's so cool. Um... Disney World, every year up until COVID, had a party um, for Halloween, the Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. And the parade that they have 
has a headless horseman, an actual headless horseman on a big black horse. It is the coolest thing you will ever see. It was incredible. I might even have footage of it on my phone. If I do, I'll put it in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. It was, that parade is awesome. That's their best parade ever. Anyway, um, Em and I went to that, I want to say 2017, the year I retired, and I was able to travel in October because I wasn't working. So you didn't go to that. It's hot. It's no, a hot I won't time go of year. Anywhere near the heat. Yeah, I, it was very hot. This but is anyway. It's hot as I like it. So, this is my Sleepy Hollow collection, and I will, these are minis, but I, I'm going to do some of them in full skeins because I think they came out amazing. So, um, this one is the first one. And this is, I'm calling it the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This one is Ichabod. This one is the Headless Horseman. Oh. This one is Katrina, or Katrina Van Tassel. I think she was a character in the, and I don't know anything about her because I didn't read it. <laughs> you can let me know in the comments. I think Ichabod was in love with her. The father okay. didn't like him. You probably Ichabod, read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then this one is Moonlit Ride. We have a lot of lore here on the East Coast. Um, the Moonlit Ride made me think of Paul Revere too, which was close to where our daughter lives. So, because the Minutemen National Park is right there. But anyway, so, yeah, so want to hold two of them and I'll hold the other. So this is the collection. I love how these came out. I love them. So these are available this week. And I only have one other t thing to show you this week. Here, hold these. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on with all this stuff? So, again, I'm starting to dye the fall colors, and guess what's back? My favorite. Oh, I know what it is. Slutty Pumpkin. Yes! Oh. This is Slutty Pumpkin, and I have a three skein shawl set. So, this first one is Forbidden Forest. The green one, Poison Ivy. No, the green one is the same, one of the same colors that I used in my um, mini skeins from last week. And uh, that is Murky Moss. Murky Moss. Murky Moss. Murky Moss. And Slutty Pumpkin. I think they look great together, don't you? Mm hmm. So these are, this is on the singles base, and these are on the um, high twist, superwash merino high twist base. I love these colors. I wore this shawl. This is the wick shawl that is not knit out of my yarn, but you could definitely knit the wick shawl, would be beautiful in these colors. Or any three color shawl. Helen Stewart, she's got a lot of them. She has the stillness shawl, mystery shawl from last year um, that you could knit using these three colors. And I love these, I think they came out awesome. So they're um, available as a set. If you want them in a larger quantity, you can just uh, you can just email me or chat with me, and we can set up. I can dye them for you in any base you want. I can do them on DK. I can do anything on DK. I have a lot of DK, but I don't usually dye it unless it's a 
request or um, for a collab collab coming soon so yeah that is it hmm. that's all the yarn I have this week it's a small yarn update week but a good one I will have slutty pumpkin definitely on um, other bases available on its own soon but I thought I'd start with a shawl set mm, cool. so oh dear look who's joining us today hi everybody how are you with me Woogie and I'm here with my restaurant review how could you have a restaurant review we haven't been home in a while <gasps> we haven't been out to restaurants that much you, uh, but you bought me some stuff from Massachusetts. We did? Yeah, you brought home two slices of that delicious pizza. We from did? Oh, Anthony's we did. Cool fried oven pizza place. <laughs> yeah. what, what was on that pizza that was so delicious? Oh, I never had pizza like that before. It was eggplant pizza mm. with a thin crust. And thin sliced eggplant covered in sauce and grated cheese. Not mozzarella. No. But grated cheese. <laughs> it was delicious. Oh, hi, Jamie. How are you? Jamie wants to eat you. So, we're going to the culinary on Wednesday. <gasps> Can I go? Can I go? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're not allowed rodents in the culinary. It's a classy restaurant. Well, we mm. might sneak, sneak him in. We will see. <laughs> So the culinary has been closed for over a year. If you, if you don't know, we live near Hyde Park and that's where the Culinary Institute of America has their cooking school and they have three restaurants. Our favorite one is the French restaurant, Bocuse. And they've been closed for a year and they've just recently opened up and I have a reservation for lunch on Wednesday. Yeah, that kind of stinks for those kids that have a culinary couldn't. I don't know how, I honestly don't know how they did it because you, this is a, it's a hands-on school. You, you need to have, you need to be cooking, obviously. It's a Yeah, when they school. go into the kitchen, they cook. Yeah. Sometimes they cook, then they switch off, they weigh tables. They do, they do everything. So maybe they did it as a simulation without the public, maybe? I don't, I, don't I honestly don't know how they ran it. I know that they own, they run a student um, dining hall. But I know they must have been closed during part of COVID. I think when it first started. Yeah. They closed. Everything was closed. Everything was closed. So, but anyway, I'm excited about going there. Maybe we'll sneak you in. You could go in my I knitting don't, bag. I don't want, no, I don't want you. They don't like rodents in there. I, I don't they're think they'd French like you. I feel like they're going to after you with a big it's actually, butcher knife and honestly, cut your head off. Ooh, the culinary is pretty fancy. Yes, but so I put a tie on. <laughs> well... Remember the time I went there and I... <laughs> you forgot to put shoes on and went with your slippers. <laughs> it was winter and I have these Ugg slippers and they're like shoes, basically. And I ran out of the house <laughs> and I had a skirt on and I had them on because my feet get cold and we went to the restaurant and I had forgotten to take them off. I was going to put boots on. And I went to get out of the car and I realized I had my slippers on and I lost my mind mm -hmm. I think I have a picture of it the, and the people in the car next to us they were getting in their car they heard me flipping out and they were cracking up I'm like I cannot go in that restaurant with slippers on I did I went in the restaurant with my slippers on no one cared <laughs> I oh. cared who says see your feet they don't say oh monsieur let oh, me see your me. feet madame oh. <laughs> no it looked ridiculous. I might have a photo. It, I looked, because I had on a black skirt and a, you know, and did I have uh, tights, black skirt and black tights, and my slippers are brown with fuzzy, they're fuzzy brown slippers, huge, huge fuzzy. That was horrible, but anyway. <laughs> so we go Wednesday. We do go Ooh. Wednesday, so. Oh no, that's, Germans are on Tuesday. 
Okay, so Rich has been watching soccer. So when are you going to take our son to the restaurant? I'm going to take soccer? him Tuesday when the Germans play England. Okay, I don't do care it. about these other games. I care about Germany beating England. Period. All right, so take him on Tuesday. He said he can't go. He might be working. Yeah, he he works. He's been working. And hard. I don't want to go on weekends. Yeah, there's no true. team playing that I really care about. Well, we'll I mean, I'll watch see. them if I have. There's nothing else on, but. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's enough for today. Yes. <clears throat> Are the raccoons playing? No, no, there's no raccoons <laughs> playing, sorry. Oh, okay. They're a little short to play oh, yeah. soccer. Go away, you have no feet. Yes, I do, see? <laughs> they're stubby feet. Yeah, they're stubby feet. Okay, good, go sit down <laughs> somewhere. Here, go sit here. Maybe a bird will pick on your head. <laughs> okay, so we hope you have a great week. Knit something beautiful. And cheers. cheers. Drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes And tried to